Hello there. This is going to be a short and quick video detailing leveling a handpiece style faceter, or this is specifically a Raytech Shaw model. There are lots of instructional videos available on how to use these, and you can level them easily side to side by adjusting these two knobs here. And either what I do is measure how far apart or how far they stick out from the bottom of this with the calipers. So these are about four and a half millimeters or so. And the tricky part is in leveling it this way so you're not tilting down and cutting at a shallower angle than you actually are measuring on the protractor here. And that adjustment is made with the center knob here, which should only be touched if you're having trouble with, say, finishing off the table and your meats aren't quite right, you can tweak it that way without adjusting the angle. Otherwise, I generally don't touch this at all once I get it level. But the thing to do that I found is the simplest way is to set it to 90, which we are right now, and get a master lap. This is an aluminum master lap and a piece of quarter inch stock. So these are the same diameter as the dops that go into the Raytech Shaw, which means that I can slide it right in there. And this is cut to the right length. You can kind of uh, finagle it yourself. And you can see I've kind of messed this up on purpose where I have my uh, little center screw here set too far in. And so what we do, bring you a little closer, lower this down until we are touching the lap. And you can see I'm touching the outside of the lap here and the inside is uh, way too high. So you can see the light behind it. And you know, all we gotta do now is adjust this knob. So it'll back it out. And you can see now this peg is raising off the platform. So we gotta raise this up. And it's a little bit of back and forth of adjusting this, but making sure it's sitting on the platform and going until it's essentially uniform light through the whole thing or the light disappears, kind of like when you're transferring and you check the levelness of the girdle on the after transfer. Make sure the light appears and disappears at the same distance all the way across. So we can see we're a little bit high still, back off. And you know, really fine adjustments make a big difference I turn this maybe a quarter turn, and you can see we're already way too high on this side. So fine tuning can take a little bit, and I won't bother you and bore you with the details, but once you have this flat, which we more or less have, I'll just call it good for now, uh, then a good thing to do when you're first doing this, especially if you have a used machine, is you wanna check the uniformity of the free in freewheel mode, so make it into freewheel mode so you can spin it and just rotate it all the way around and make sure that you know this thing doesn't pivot up and down as you go because that would indicate that your quill itself is out of alignment and you would need to get that checked out. So there you go. I uh, hope that helps somebody out there. I had a question about this on a previous video, which is why I made this video specifically. But if it helps them, great. I hope it helps you or anybody else that is looking to get a handpiece design. It's very straightforward in leveling. And now we're ready to, we're pretty much ready to go. So happy faceting.